Here I'm going to show you how to use data validation to prevent duplicate values from being entered into a list. Now that means that you wouldn't be able to enter the same word, the same number, or the exact same phrase more than once in a list of cells. And here I have a sample of three lists that you may uh, say want a user to populate if you send it out to a group of people or something similar to that. So a list of products, a list of customers, say by ID number, or top stock picks, so the ticker of the stock. And for all three of these, the only thing they have in common is you really wouldn't want to have duplicate values. So let's go ahead and do this. The first thing you want to do is select the very first cell in the list. So underneath your header, select that cell, and then go to data validation. Now if you have Excel 2007, you can get there by going to the data tab and from there go to data validation which is this little box right here. Now if you have the Excel window big or small it may uh, collapse or expand this button but this is where data validation is. And this is the window that's going to open up. Alternatively if you have a previous version of Excel simply use this shortcut right here. Alt plus D plus L. So I'm going to go ahead and use that. Select my first cell. Alt D L. Now once you're on this window, make sure you're on the settings tab and go to where it says allow. Click the drop down menu and go to custom. And in the little text box that opens here, we're going to enter a formula. Now the formula we're going to use here is the count if formula and that's what's going to prevent duplicates. So equals count if open parentheses and now what we want to do is select the range of the list. So the entire uh, list where we want people to enter something. So click this little box right here and go ahead and select the entire list including the first cell. Then comma. Now select the very first cell. So the cell that was highlighted. Now we're going to click this little block again to open the window. And then we're going to close the parentheses and type equals 1. Now the equals 1 is important because that's going to make it evaluate to true or false. Now don't forget in the range reference the first thing we selected put dollar signs in front of the letters and the numbers. So basically we're going to make this an absolute cell reference. However for the criteria the single cell we selected do not put dollar signs in front of that because we want that to remain relative. Click OK and now we have data validation for this one cell. So if I hit Alt DL, you'll see the formula we just entered. Now if I go one cell down, Alt DL, there is no formula. So we could either type it in by hand or very quickly, the way to apply data validation to multiple cells, select the first one where the data validation has been applied, go to the bottom right hand corner and click the quick fill handle. Select that and drag it down. Now if I click any one of these cells, I'm going to see, if I hit Alt DL, that the formula is there and this cell reference right here has changed. So A9 equals the highlighted cell here, A9. And that's important. <laughs> so now let's try it out. If uh, I'm entering a list of products, say product 1, product 2, product 3, and then here, I forget I've already entered product 1, so I go ahead and do that. Oops, misspelled it. Obviously, if you have a misspelling, it's not going to work. And so it won't let me do that. So if I try to enter a duplicate value into any one of these cells, it's not going to let me do that. And here it simply reverted back to the misspelling I had earlier. Now that's how you can do data validation and it's very easy um, to apply to multiple lists. So you simply go to the first cell, put the data validation in there, make the range absolute and the criteria relative. So let me go ahead and show you the formula here. So equals count if list range, remember, make that absolute, and then the single cell that you had highlighted which is just called the criteria, equals one. And that's how you can make duplicate values, or that's how you can prevent duplicate values from being entered into a list. Now if you want to delete this data validation, very simple, 
select one or multiple cells, then go to Alt DL, and underneath Allow, click any value. Alternatively, you can go ahead and delete this formula. And when you do this, say any value, okay? Data validation is now off. So if I enter product three, it's gonna let me put it in. So that's how you use data validation to prevent duplicate entries from being entered into a list.